Welcome to Naresai Technologies, this is Ramchandar. In this video, I am going to talk about a diagrammatic representation of collection in Java language. See, in the last video, I did talk about how many types of data representation, how many types of data representation we have in Java language that concept I told you. Especially in that video, I did talk like there are two types of data representation, one is value format representation, another one is key value format representation. Before JDK 1.2, nothing but before arrival of Java collection framework, if you want to represent the data in value format, we have concept like vector and stack. And if you want to represent the data in the form of key and value format, we have two predefined classes like a hash table as well as what pro properties. Now, after coming to, once we coming to JDK 1.2, Java community people has been added one concept like Java collection framework. After arrival of Java collection framework to representing value format data, we have huge classes. So, what are those huge classes and interfaces? Observe. See, to represent, so our concept is diagrammatic representation of collection hierarchy in Java collection framework. Now, observe guys, in entire collection hierarchy, we have one main interface that is collection. This is one interface which is launched in the version of 1.2. Under the collection, we have three types of uh, sub interfaces. One is set, one is set and it is interface which is launched in the version of 1.2 and list it is one interface it is launched in the version of 1.2 after that we have one more interface that is q it is interface which is launched in the version of 1.5 after that in 1.2 only we have one abstract class that is abstract collection this is what your abstract class which is launched in the version of which is launched in the version of 1.2. Now, under the abstract collection, we have three sub interfaces. One is abstract set. It is a abstract class which is launched in the version of 1.2. Another one is abstract list. It is also abstract collection launched in the version of 1.2 and final one is abstract, abstract q, abstract q, it is also abstract class launched in the version of 1.5, launched in the version of 1.5, observe here. Under the abstract set, under the abstract set, there is subclass that is hash set, that is a class which is launched in the version of 1.2. Another one is linked hash set. It is the subclass of hash set launched in the version of 1.4. Under this set, we have some other interfaces. One is sorted set. One is sorted set. Another one is navigable set. And this sorted set is one interface which is launched in the version of 1.2. 1.2 and uh, navigable set is also one interface which is launched in the version of 
oh, launched in the version of 1.6 under that we have one uh, sub end uh, we have sub class sorry implementation class that is tree set that is tree set which is launched in the version of 1.2 under the abstract uh, under the abstract list we have one class we have one sub class that is array list under that we have one uh, legacy class this is also class which is launched in the version of i told you before java interface before java collection framework we have this concept for representing the value format data and it is also what here one class which is which was launched in which was launched in the version of what here 1.2 1.0 after that we have under the abstract queue we have what here priority queue clear and we have one more abstract class that is abstract sequential abstract sequence list under that we have link list under that we have link list this is introduced in the 1.2 this is what your abstract class and uh, this is a link list this is link list a link list which is introduced in the 1.2 this is a uh, one class now this is what your main hierarchy from 1.5 onwards there is one more interface that is what your java dot lang dot iterable java dot lang dot iterable this is a interface which is launched in the version of what 1.5 in the version of 1.5 now observe here so in entire collection framework iterable is the main interface but that is from 1.1.5 onwards in 1.2 in 1.3 and 1.4 which one is the main interface collection is the main interface see set list as well as what here queue and sorted set is the sub interface and navigable set is what subset of uh, sub interface of uh, sorted set and tree set is the implementation and uh, abstract collection abstract uh, set abstract list and abstract uh, queue are the sub class of what uh, abstract collection and abstract collection is the implementation class of collection under that uh, abstract set we have as set under that we have linked as set array list and vector as well as uh, abstract sequence list and uh, stack is also sub class of vector and a priority queue is what sub class of abstract queue and this is a sub class of uh, link list is the sub class of abstract sequence list now observe here let me give the arrow marks list and uh, this is what implementation class so how to represent uh, how to represent relation between interface to abstract class with the dotted lines and class to interface again what here dotted line again okay now let me show the cur cursors this is representations here abstract set again implementation of set abstract list again implementation of list abstract queue again implementation of what here queue so again we need to represent with the dotted lines good yeah from 1.5 onwards link list also implementation class of queue and we have dq also from 1.6 uh, we have sub interface sub interface for queue that is what dq dq is the sub interface which is launched in a version of 1.6 so like this we have multiple interfaces and their implementation classes multiple interfaces and their implementation classes i given the first video of java collection framework 
video series i told you like java collection framework is predefined architecture given by java or well defined architecture given by java which is the collection of what interfaces and their implementation classes see here collection set sorted set navigable set list queue and dq all these are what here interface and remaining all these things comes under what here sub classes as well as what uh, implementation classes so prior to queue is also one class here which is launched in the version of what uh, 1.5 which is launched in the version of 1.5 see before java collection framework before java collection framework we have we have concept like what here stack vector and stack we have a concept like what here vector and stack these are the two old classes which are existed in the 1.0 for what value representation data in value format data representation in value format so these two classes we can called as what here legacy classes these two classes we can called as what legacy classes legacy classes so what is the meaning here legacy class means the classes which are existed in the old version and which are used to which are supposed to developing any new classes the classes which are existed in the old version and developing by using those classes if you are developing any other classes those classes we can those existing classes we can called as what uh, legacy classes see whatever the data which we have in the vector the same data available in the array list but small difference are there what are those small difference and everything and uh, i'm going to talk each and every interface each and every class individually with the programmatic programmatically in coming videos so before java i want to say one thing by using this video what is that before java collection framework nothing but before 1.2 we have two classes to represent the data in value, value format but once java collection framework launched into the uh, java in the version of jdk 1.2 in the version of jdk 1.2 we have a lot of classes like uh, hash set linked hash set tree set array list vector stack priority queue linked list like this lot of classes we have by using all these implementation classes as well as sub classes we can able to develop we can able to represent the data in value format i hope you uh, enjoy this video for more videos please subscribe narasati channel thank you mm -hmm.